so close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. The snow dough is still broken apart. Like William from Chloe. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Yes, Chloe Price was here. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I'm getting lost in all this shit. That blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Last time I wanted to splash some water on my face, my whole life changed. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Yep, locked from the other side.
Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? I wonder if Chloe would hate me for keeping her alive. But I couldn't do it. Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. William never finished painting that wall. Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Good thing you dropped the files in oil, Max. <laughs> Yuck. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me, that's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? 
Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. So, are you gonna tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn. You are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate. For my own reasons. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. You tried to help her more than anybody, Max. I sure didn't. Plus, I left that goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick. And I'm off duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me, since only I know what's happening. Of course, thanks to Mrs. Grant and her hippie anti-surveillance petition, I hope everybody feels safer like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. <laughs> Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. Sorry, but this is my I wish Chloe could too. Case, so, no girls allowed. Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. <laughs> Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Shit. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. I 
I give up William but defend Dave? The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Find hey, Max. a way to get David out of his cave. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Sorry, but this is... What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? My official man cave, so no girls allowed. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Sure is hard to work in private with somebody watching you. Hey, Max. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Find Sorry, a way to get David out of his my cave. Official man cave. So, no girls allowed. Uh. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Keys to the kingdom, or at least David's locker. Hey, Max, I do appreciate you standing up. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box! Mitch, somebody fix the fuse! Gotcha. Work better if David doesn't actually see me. Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. I am the key master. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Uh, sorry, Max. I can't talk and work.
Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're alright? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're Chloe right fits in so easy now. with Justin. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to Brooke drive doesn't it. look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. 
Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Talk to you later, Max. 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 I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Climate change is in How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. You're my ass. I think everything is changing here. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. The beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends, especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max, while time is on your side. 
more questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Blackwell is so sad and quiet since Kate um, isn't here anymore. Yes. And you can tell that the campus is different now. And you reached out to her when everybody turned away. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. I'm sorry. I better get going now. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Okay, get mask. that food in your belly. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. All we are is dust in the wind. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel is saying. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? Like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but...
but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate was the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Let's talk again soon, Max. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. 